Now, when we talk about how could a mixed lead, how, how could that happen? You know, what, what could cause that? I suppose at the manufacturing level, if the manufacturer did not wire the lead socket properly in the motor, so that when you bring your motor lead down on top of it, those wires are not lined up properly, therein lies a mixed lead situation. That could never happen at Flint and Wall. <laughs> There's way, way too many tests. That, that, that would never be able to get out of the building. And I'm not suggesting that other pump companies would, you know, but, but look, that's, that's one area where that could happen. More than likely, more than likely where that's gonna take place is in the splice, right? That's your underwater splice. It's four feet above the motor. And again, oftentimes when a pump gets replaced, those, those power cables aren't all vibrantly colored like they are brand new on the spool. They get faded, they get dirty, they get ugly. You don't even know what colors they are sometimes. Therein lies a chance to have a risk of, of, of hooking the wires. If you've got a yellow wire hooked to a red wire and a black wire hooked to a, a yellow wire, and it's not gonna work. That's called mixed leads. You'll get higher resistance, resistance values and lower your meter will display zero ohms, all right? So zero ohms would be equivalent to no resistance at all. Zero ohms is also referred to as infinity. 